Hey there, Tim here to talk about how to make your code easier to understand and more powerful by using Dagster's IO managers. Continue watching this video to learn how to make writing pipelines easier while embracing software engineering best practices. Now, have you ever joined an existing project, looked at their repository, and then spent hours struggling to even understand what part of the code is the meat of it all, and which parts are really just to get the data read in and usable in the first place. If you have, then code like this might look familiar. Just looking at this, half of this code is just for reading and writing the data from AWS S3. And yeah, functions can help, but they can grow to be difficult to maintain at scale. What about when you need to change it depending on the behavior of the environment or when you're dealing with partitions? When writing data pipelines, managing reading and writing data from external storage, such as file storage or databases, takes away from actually working with the data itself. But what if there was a way to standardize and reduce all of this overhead and boilerplate? That's where IELTS managers come in. IELTS managers can be assigned to Dagster assets and they are Dagster's way of defining how an asset is written to memory and is written back to storage. For example, an IO manager can read a pickled file, load it in as a Polar's data frame, and store the result of that asset definition back as a pickled file again. Now, here is that same logic from earlier, but now it's using an IO manager. This is hopefully easier to read through and understand the flow of the data. Now, looking into this, when an asset is given to IO Manager, the data returned by the asset's definition is what's written back to storage. In cleaned orders and order accounts, their return values are written back to storage, courtesy of our IO Managers. In addition to that, because order counts is dependent on clean orders, uh, order counts' IO Manager will deal with reading from storage and loading clean data into memory during the materialization of order counts for you. This code also shows you some of the flexibility allowed with IELTS managers. If you don't want to load an asset into memory, the IELTS manager can be ignored by using the non-argument depths parameter to establish a dependency without having to load it in, as shown by the cleaned orders asset definition. IELTS managers can also support partitions. They can point to file storage during local development and then cloud storage during production runs, be overridden at the asset level, and more. Did you learn something new? If so, subscribe to the Dagster YouTube channel to learn more about how Dagster can enable you to level up your data pipelines.